Brad, um, kind of the same situation as uh, Central Michigan a couple weeks ago. Um, Miami kind of dictated the pace of play there a little bit in the first half, got the goal. But, you know, the second half you guys recovered, you know, very well and really, um, I thought, controlled the flow of the match, just, you know, unable to finish. Um, you know, just your thoughts, your initial thoughts after a, a tough match with a very good Miami team. Um, you know, I think, obviously, a great finish for Miami on the... Is that Dolish? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> well struck. I mean, that's uh, that's part of the game. I thought their keeper came up with some big saves. You know, credit to them. I think um, I think what was disappointing to me was just the the small battles throughout the game that I thought they had a little bit of an edge on. You know, whether or not it was territory or not. I mean, those are the kinds of things that will in this conference win or lose you games. That plus some quality, and I think that you know those kinds of things we didn't do a good job with today, and that was a a, a little bit frustrating. Um, you know, we got a lot, to, a lot of work to do uh, ahead of us, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens next. Mm -hmm. um, Rachel McLeod, um, we talked to her, and you know, finally seeing her healthy, probably for the first time all season. Um, you know, she's been very dangerous in attack, and I just think it's a matter of time before she can put one in the back of the net. Um, you know, her and Tika are really starting to form a good, a good group up front, and then you bring a couple other players in off the bench. You know, the attack seems like it's starting to find its stride. You know, you outshot them, but, you know, in the end of the day, it still comes down to wins and losses, but you have to be happy with the progression of her. Um, I think, you know, we, we did create some chances, albeit a lot more from distance than I, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more within the box. And, uh, you know, we did have some corner kicks, but even the delivery in our corner kicks was a little bit uh, inconsistent today. So... You know, just a lot of inconsistencies, maybe the best way to describe today, and that's not what you would expect this time of year. Um, you know, but uh, we, we take it, we move forward, and we see what we can do with it uh, heading into the, the next games and, uh, you know, learn what we can from it. And now Ohio and Kent. Um, heard Kent just beat Eastern. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a really that dogfight in there. There's about four teams, you know, fighting for that three through six six seeds, you know, heading into the last three matches of the regular season. Sure, and, you know, you never know with weather and sure. injuries and somebody holds somebody out, somebody, you never know. So mm -hmm. try not to read too much into it. It's just going to be a game by game on the weekend, and i uh, looking forward to getting on the road a little bit with this group and, um, you know, seeing what we can do at Ohio and Kent, and always tough places to play. Um, you know, and everybody's playing for something this time sure, of year. Sure, sure. So no emotions. And, uh, that's fun. I mean, that's, uh, if you, if you hopefully you get excited for this kind of stuff. And a great crowd today. Maybe one of the best crowds we've had all year. Come out to honor the seniors that have meant so much to this program. Um, you know, they hopefully they have a lot of soccer left to play. Um, you know, just the, the, the six seniors have meant a lot to this program. And, you know, like I said, hopefully they can uh, cash in and get another championship. Sure. Um, you know, they... It, it's a, it's a varied group, isn't it? Um, between ages and fifth year and in-state and out-of-state and out-of-country, there's a lot of diversity uh, within the group. And, you know, I think the thing that the underclassmen can take away is just, you know, they've, they've been here, they've been invested and, and working hard. And so um, that's an important asset to take away from any group of, uh, of departing players. And, you know, whether we play three games, five games, six games, or whatever the case might be, I think it's still... The reality of the time is is finishing, and you know that's a, that's a, both an exciting thing for those guys and a tough thing. I mean, that's part of uh, being a senior, and you know we get to see it every year, and it's bittersweet every year. So we wish those guys the best of luck. Well, thanks for your time, and best of luck on uh, Friday at Ohio and Sunday at Kent. All right, thanks much.